Of course, the sun goes behind the clouds right when I come out to do this, but uh, one of the things I really do like about this community is the tax rate. Their base tax rate is 1.6. Now remember what's new in 2024 is if this is your homestead, meaning you live here, this is a rental property, you do get another $100,000 off of your taxable value. And something I'm learning more and more about is if you're in Comel ISD, which this is, you get another 20% off your taxable value. So that really uh, lowers your tax impact if you're buying in uh, Comel ISD or, and in this community. Highland Homes is a one of my favorite builders. They do build a pretty home, but yes, this is only 40 foot wide. So it's gonna be a skinny house, but long, but hey, 2,600 square feet and five bedrooms. Um, there's not a lot of five bedroom houses on the market right now. But yeah, let's head on in and check it out. Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Harper Realtors. Once again, I'm at the community of Legacy at Lake Dunlap in New Braunfels, Texas, kind of on the east side of I-35, but pretty close to I-35, so you don't have to travel too far. But we're looking at a Highland home. It's in their 40-foot section, so it's not very wide, but this house has five bedrooms, 2,600 square feet, and they're only asking 475K. They also have incentives up to $20,000 that can go to either buying the breakdown or closing cost. Not much wiggle room in the price, but there might be a little bit. Anyways, I can't wait to show this house off. This is the Easton A plan. So yeah, let's head on up front and start the tour. And if you haven't done so already, hit that like button. Of course, once you subscribe to my channel. Beautiful front door right here. I love the how tall it is, but I really do like a lot of things about this home. It is really well done, nice use of space. Right up front, you're gonna have a little linen closet, no point going in there, but you do have your laundry room. I am definitely not gonna say this is the biggest laundry room, but you do have a place for your washer and dryer on the wall, and a little hang-up section, a little window for natural light. You do have your two-car garage, but also what's kind of cool is you already have a tankless water heater and plumb for water softener. All right, coming in, well, we can see we got a neat little space up top there. Sorry if I just made you dizzy by going too fast. But yeah, you got your uh, living room space right up front. Good spot to put your TV, your couch right here as you come in. But check out this whole wall of windows right here. Plenty of light coming in. And yes, the west is kind of this back corner there. But uh, before we go into the kitchen, let me go and show you these, this first bedroom. Well, let me show the bathroom off first. So here it's downstairs bathroom. Really do like the fancy dancy tile flooring in there. And here's the first bedroom downstairs. We got two bedrooms downstairs, three up. Here's your closet. Nothing special about it. Just two rows of hangers there. So that's one of your downstairs bedrooms. We're gonna end up in the master bedroom toward the end, just so you don't click off too soon. But yeah, here's your kitchen, nicely laid out kitchen. This is a gas community, so you already get gas. And a nice Frigidaire five burner cooktop. Definitely dig this backsplash. We got more Frigidaire appliances, your microwave, your oven and a single basin sink. Now this house is actually on the market. This is not a model home, so you can definitely tell the difference, but wow, super cool, tall ceilings right there, little loft area that we're about to head up to right now. But first one's gonna go check out the backyard area. Plenty of cabinet space on the side. That's the master bedroom, and we're holding that to last as a teaser. Um, you are plumbed already for your outdoor gas cooktop space, so we can put a kitchen thing right there. And if this is feeling tiny, you can always expand by putting a wooden deck out there, out here, or expand it however you want. However you want. We have a beautiful day in Texas. As I'm filming this, it is 22 October. See more people building back there. 2024. And as we're, as the reason I mentioned the date is because, yeah, these builders want to get these units moved. But yeah, let's head on upstairs and we show off these other three bedrooms and this loft space. I do like the uh, 
railing set up here. All right, we got one bedroom right when you come up to the top of the stairs. Good sized room. And this room's gonna have its own private bath. Very handy for your favorite child because the other two kids, other two rooms up here, yeah, guess what? They're gonna be sharing a bathroom. All right, and you have your own little kind of mini walk-in closet there. All right, this is gonna be your entrance to the Texas basement. So you can have some stuff, you can lay some extra wood down, don't cramp anything, but it's a good spot to have a place to store decorations and stuff. All right, here's your loft space, which is very handy if you've got a plethora of kids and they need their own space to beat each other up at. Can't be too loud because you'll be able to hear everybody from the downstairs area as well. And you're gonna have a little view from the front door also. All right, here's the other two bedrooms. Nothing fancy about this bedroom, but it does have a pretty decent sized closet. But this is the bathroom that these two rooms would be sharing. The toilet. You would be able to close this door here so this person in this room would have, behind me would have access to the own sink. And then you've got this bedroom over on this side. And here's their own private sink. But you would share the bathtub and the toilet right there. Just make sure both these doors are closed. And this bedroom's going to have a pretty decent sized closet as well. Now remember this house is 2,600 square feet, so they squeezed a lot of square footage into a not very wide home. A little view from the front window, go see what the neighbor's houses look like across the street. All right, there's that other bedroom and this cool loft space. All right, let's head on downstairs and we're gonna show you that master bedroom that we've been talking about downstairs now. And I gotta point out, I do like this, uh, I believe this is gonna be luxury vinyl planks down here, really nice. Oh, I haven't shown the pantry off yet. I don't wanna get beat up in the comments about that. But yeah, pretty good sized pantry as well. And they got the shelves going all the way up. Let me get on your tippy toes to get that box of cereal down. All right, coming through the kitchen. That's where your refrigerator would go. And now the master bedroom. A decent sized master bedroom. We already have a ceiling fan in here. A little bump out for a little extra space. And yeah, you can view the model home straight from here for now because eventually you will have someone behind you. All right, let's check out this bathroom. Got the little French door set up. Big, deep soaking tub. You would either have to put blinds up there or go to the gym a lot. I know I've said that joke a lot over the years because eventually you will have your neighbors there and I don't know if there'd be a window, but it's easy enough to put blinds up. All right, we have a nice little shower set up, a little mud inset, and they took the tile all the way to the top. Water closet right there. And then now we've got the master bedroom closet. Decent size, I wouldn't say huge, but I'm glad to see they've got at least two layers here to maximize where you're hanging your shirts at, spot for the long dresses, and more spots over here for long items as well. Coming back out, soaking tub, the dual vanities. Eight foot doors down on the first level, which is kind of nice to see on a two story. Very cool. 
All right, that's going to do it for the tour of this Highland home that's on the market as of 22 October 2024 in the community of Legacy at Lake Dunlap. Oh, also mentioned that in about four or five years, this community will reach all the way to uh, the Guadalupe River, which they're going to call Lake Dunlap at this portion, but you're going to have private access to it via a park they're going to be building, which is going to be very unique because trust me, I've tried to find some private en entrances to go put my kayak in. There's really not any. So it's nice to be in a community that's going to have private access to the river slash lake, and there will be like motorized boats and stuff on there as well, and some really good fishing. All right, that's gonna do it for today. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family, especially if you know someone moving to the area. If they don't have a real estate already, I'll be happy to help. My contact information will be, be, <laughs> will be on the final slide. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.